I'm Lynn, and today I'm going to talk about the Gateway Project. So, this was new to me. I had not heard of it. So, I always love these type of readings where people submit stuff and it's new information to me and something I can go in and, and learn things about. So, thank you so much for that. And real quick, before we start, please go in and hit the like button. It really helps the channel grow and gets me recognized just a little bit more. So, the question... Aloha, Lynn, which I love that greeting. I'd love to know your thoughts on the CIA's declassified documents on the Gateway Project. I listened to their binaural beats that are supposed to expand your consciousness, but something fell off. Honestly, after the last few years, I can't imagine that our government would publish a tool for us to reach a higher power without them being able to control it somehow. Is this safe for us to use and learn, or is there ulterior agenda in releasing this information? I would love to know your thoughts. So, what do I get in regards to this gateway project? And when I focused on it, I had a couple different emotions come through. Initially, I was a little curious, but then it was also a little ominous. And I was trying to distinguish why would I have that response? Why would just hearing about this and focusing on it automatically have that kind of feeling come forward? And so I sat with it and tried to make sense of it and determine why? What's going on here? And then I realized they want to disclose these abilities and they want people to believe that things beyond our physical reality are real. But the ominous part comes in because of the lack of responsibility and guidance that they don't provide. It's like saying, hey, there's this great fun thing. Work on achieving it. Work on expanding abilities and reaching the other side. But they don't tell you any kind of responsibility that comes with it or maybe some unintended consequences that might come from tapping into the other side. They want people to be open and welcoming to these mind expanding thoughts, but without direction, anything and everything is going to psychically seek out people if they don't know or understand the process. Once you open up to things, all things can come through. And I realize the government wants to foster a situation where people don't realize how to set boundaries of protection around themselves, and then they open themselves up. This is a recipe for bringing in darkness. It will happen if you don't know what you're doing. I see the powers that were wanting to scare uh, you scared of other realities, and they want people either knowing or unknowingly conjuring up darker energies, just like you wouldn't give a kid a match to play with. You don't give a curious mind the tools to explore other realities and teaching them how to do it without teaching them how to do it responsibly and how to set protection, how to be safe as you approach this kind of thing. You must work in the greater good when approaching this open-minded work. Otherwise, you just don't know what you're going to attract. I put this in the same category as selling Ouija boards in the gaming aisle. If you're curious, gather information, do your research, talk to people who you respect and maybe have gone through this process and have gone through some kind of development. But you have to be able to approach this responsibly should you choose to go and do this type of experimentation. I mean, reach out to me. I, I offer guidance, uh, set up an appointment. I will share anything and everything that I know to keep you safe while you do this if you do choose to explore it or do your research and at least feel confident as you approach it yourself. So I will leave you with that. Again, I am Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Thank you. Bye.